Hi, I'm here with Rosemary Watkins. Thank you very much for joining me. I've just got a few questions from um, that have been submitted. And this one is, I'd like to know the best way to deal with clutter that comes from deceased parents. I lost both my parents and my son's father within an eight year period and have ended up with lots of stuff. Yeah, thank you, Sarah. And um, obviously, as you're aware, I do a lot of work with um, families who have been bereaved. Yes. And uh, this is rather common that people end up with the stuff that uh, belongs to the parents, and often with a great dilemma as to what to do with it or when to do something with it and how to do something with it uh, without feeling that they're, they're somehow disconnecting or separating mm. or being disloyal in some way to the parents who have collected the stuff over the years of their stuff. I think um, it's really important that first they give themselves permission to be able to release it and uh, if that's when, at a time of their choosing and that it's very important that the stuff is not the connection to the relative. But in the beginning it can feel like that very much and I think some of the maybe looking at their own grief journey and how they're grieving and where they're at in that process and as they're in the grief process then um, there will be a time in that when they can feel more comfortable so I tend to encourage people to be guided more by their own inner knowledge and inner wisdom around that when they feel ready once the sort of emotional processing of the grief mm -hmm. has occurred then more likely and perhaps getting some help from someone like yourself to um, help them with the, that because to do that alone is quite mm -hmm. a burden and so to go through that process um, with someone supporting them can be really helpful and uh, and I do think it's linked to the it's one of the more challenging times mm -hmm. one of the other interesting things that comes out of that actually is that people who do um, make that leap then or that um, transition time of releasing the, the, the stuff that they have from the parents they really um, begin to say, I'm going to declutter my own life, my own house, because yeah. I don't want my children having to do this when I die. And uh, it often can be a little um, wake up to many people about how much uh, stuff actually that we collect as human beings going through our lives. And particularly if we haven't moved house for a while, it can be really quite significant and more than people know. So I have seen many people once they have released their parents, um, you know, uh, items, can then begin to focus on their own houses and their own lives in, in that way. And it can be a very liberating and freeing sort of experience for them. Lovely. All right. Thank you. You're welcome.